The following video is meant for the adult nerds in the community, so if you're under 13, please stop. Hey everyone, James Sharmack here with another toy hunt for Nerd Room with J&J. So, it's January, haven't done one for December, so let's see what's out there. So, right off the bat, we're going to go to the Walmart in Amherst, New Hampshire, and see what they have. They normally don't really have anything new, but we're going to take a look regardless. My favorite aisle, of course, the action figure aisle. Toy Story hanging out right off the bat. Taking slow steps. Caution what for. Always have to be safe. Uh, the DC section and some Marvel Legends. Looks like they got some old ones. That damn cannonball figure. And the big stack of uh, Legends right there. Let's see what they got. Pretty much they have the Hulk Wave, which I've already uh, reviewed, as well as that damn cannonball figure. Pretty much Hulk uh, going back. DC has a very short little thing there. We might take a look out there sometime in the near future and see if they have anything new. Some more Legends. And we have the Gwenpools. One, two, three. So they've downgraded from the six. So I'm kind of impressed. Uh, the standard figures look all right. They're, uh, got some empty pegs there. Uh, let's take a closer look again at the other side, Transformers. Uh, I'm kind of thinking about trying to get back into that with a Siege a Cybertron because they look pretty cool, but probably won't. Uh, some Baragon or whatever. I don't know what it is. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. On to the Godzilla section. Uh, I really wish they would update the, uh, vinyl ones. Just, you know, make some 95, 90 ones. Uh, Jurassic Park. You know, that's so rock and rolling, I guess. Uh, the Star Wars section, it's a complete mess. Uh, some Black Series only have the one skiff. That's kind of selling. Don't don't have the uh, Han Solo uh, Jabba set. Uh, the arcade one-ups, I was trying to see if they had a Star Wars one there still, but they just have, like, the regular $300 ones. They have a Marvel one, looks like. The Capcom Midway uh, Turtles. Uh, wanted to check the collectible section, see if they had any, like, movie figures, because I, I have the Ash figure, but I want to see if they had anything to offer, but they don't, unfortunately. So now, I went over to the Target, that's, uh, in North Nashua, so they have, uh, the, uh, some of the figures we've already seen, the Hulk Wave, apparently, the Spider Wave, the Molten Man, um, they have, uh, some figures, like, that the Miss Beetle from back in the day because you know it's inventory time. Let's pull it out from uh, the cobwebs in the dust. So that's some called Obsidian Wave. They have a bunch of Captain Marvel wave figures that are on uh, discount now for like 10 bucks. Standard figures, same stuff I've seen already. Uh, what are you going to write? Uh, they have that. Uh, that's a restock of the Thor Ragnarok, it looks like, and some more. Role playing of the Marvels it looks like. Uh, some next aisle we are checking the NECA and uh, this figure I bought. I bought this. I was going to review it. I was excited about it. I wanted to get it because it's a Godzilla Mothra figure, so you know it was there by itself. I'd have it, and I left it at Target, never to be seen again. In the parking lot. So I'm, you know, that crushed my will that day. Ah, uh, Black Series. Nothing really new I'm looking for. I know Jason does the Black Series. Uh, he, I'd love to get him to do some reviews. So uh, let, let him know in the comments below that you want to see some Black Series reviews. And uh, where you got some Jurassic Park at Target. Uh, got, we're at Walgreens now, so I want to see what they have. Uh, some of the old stuff. You know, not much for the Legends figures, but it is what it is, I guess. But, you know, I was looking to see if they had any exclusives. Not so much. They have a, that David Bowie Labyrinth figure, I guess. And I don't know how to restock, restack figures, I guess. Black Series, a whole lot of uh, Finn. Same uh, multiverse figures from DC that don't sell. Harry Potter, Transformers. One Punch Man, whoever he is. I was looking at this one, Godzilla, for a little while. Just didn't buy him. And now we're at the GameStop. One of the GameStops in Pleasant Lane Mall. And my 
cold skin away because I'm trying to be all sneaky with the filming. Some Black Series figures. Yeah, I'm really trying to be sneaky. It's not working apparently just because of the view. It's not that I didn't notice, but my camera's, you know, I'm holding the camera close to the chest. Anyways, uh, they have a lot of these damn Funko dolls I don't get into. I'm not into it. So we hit the target at Defezzin Lane Mall, of course. Uh, and they leave a lot to be desired, of course. They, really, you know, I mean, I get that they have the Hulk figures. I, but, you know, I'd like some more. Like, maybe I was looking for the Thor wave, but what are you going to do, right? And they have a lot of empty aisles. Maybe they're trying to restock. I don't know. Maybe it's January and they're just trying to get rid of everything. I don't know. Uh, going over here. Taking a look at the Transformers. I should, probably should have brought that Optimus Prime I saw there a while back. But I'm an idiot. Uh, that Poison Ivy's on discount now. I never saw the... Now the Brachiosaurus I've never seen there. It, I guess it's supposed to be like in in scale with uh, the uh, figures that they have. And Star Wars, yeah, there's not much here. Anyways, thank you guys for watching so much. Uh, if you like it, like it. 